Polina, what is it? Excuse me. Sorry, I gotta go. I... The waiter will pack up your meal. Good night, Julianne. I'll see you on Wednesday. Still here. Hello? Who the hell is this? Who is this? It's Paulina. Put Gabriel on. He's, um, indisposed at the moment? Indisposed? Listen, you little slut. Roll him over and put the phone in his hand. Please go back tomorrow. I'm calling from... I think you've made your point, Miss Mitchell. Oh, I don't think I have. It's commonly known that Dante's dalliances were anonymous and tawdry. That doesn't sound like someone who would appeal to Beatrice. Not to mention the fact that he had a mistress named Paulina. Paulina? Who's Paulina? Um, uh, oh, women in Philadelphia found evidence of that relationship. Anyway, if Beatrice didn't want Dante and rejected him, it was justified. Dante was a self-absorbed, cruel, arrogant slut who treated women like toys for his own personal amusement. The language Dante uses for his first meeting with Beatrice is dreamlike. For personal reasons, for personal reasons, he doesn't trust his senses. He's not sure who she is. One theory is Dante thought Beatrice was an angel. Beatrice is wrong in assuming that he remembered everything from the first meeting. Wouldn't seeing her again jar his memory? Or was he too drunk to try? That's enough. Can we get back to this Paulina mistress? Paulina is irrelevant and has no real bearing on today's discussion, Miss Peterson. If you were anyone else, I'd have you expelled. Your disrespectful attitude is unacceptable. On top of that, I can even begin to express the anger I have over what you said about Polina. You were never to speak about her again. Do I make myself clear? Do I make myself clear? Yes. I won't be shared. I'm not in the habit of sharing what's precious to me. Share you either. You may not sleep with anyone else, even while I'm still deciding. Done. What about Paulina? Don't worry about her. Is she your wife? Ex wife? No. She wasn't going to call you anymore. I'm not answering, so it doesn't matter. 
In my bed, there's only us. I haven't brushed my teeth. I don't care. I'd like to clean up first. Don't let Belina ruin what we have. I'm not. darling. Oh, I've missed you. What are you doing here? Richard, as always, a pleasure. I was so sorry to hear about Grace. Thank you, Paulina. Rachel, Aaron, uh, help me in the kitchen. I didn't know you had two sisters. I have only one sister, you know it. Why are you here? I'm Julia. We spoke on the phone? <laughs> you can't expect me to keep track of all the girls who've answered Gabriel's phone. Unless you were one of the girls I spoke with when I interrupted a menage. Do you remember that night, Gabriel? Why are you here, Paulina? I came to see you. You wouldn't return my calls. You're on your way to Minnesota. You know my parents don't speak to me. I need to talk to you. Hello. Let me remind you that you're a guest. I won't tolerate your disrespect for anyone, especially Julianne. Do you understand? You never treated me like a guest when you were in my mouth. Why is she here? You'll have to ask your brother. 